you cast out your line and then light up your corncob pipe and sit back to enjoy a bit of midnight fishing on Old Silver Lake. You've been coming here for 60 years since you were a little un. You kick back and enjoy watching the moonlight reflect on the placid waters and think to yourself, life is pretty good. All of a sudden, a tug on your line. You struggle to get to it before it's pulled overboard. You wrestle back and forwards, pulling your catch in. My God, it's putting up a fight, but you're beginning to win. And then you see him rising up out of the water, a giant catfish. It's Stinky Pete, 300 pounds of local legend. My God, you didn't believe he was real. You worry that your boat might capsize, but you're getting the better of him. Will you be the one to net this mighty fish? Or are you on a history quest? And welcome everybody to Mystery Quest, where today we are playing Alien, the RPG, uh, published by Free League, and a scenario called The Chariot of the Gods. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm joined by uh, several very special guests. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Ben. I'm going to be playing Leah Davis. I'm a cocksure, reckless pilot. Amazing. Hello, I am Chris Trott, and I am playing John J. Wilson, a wonderful bureaucrat and corporate agent. Hello, I'm Lydia, and I'm going to be playing Vanessa Miller. I'm the captain, uh, short, short curly hair, overalls with the company logo. I am tired of the company bullshit, and I just want to get the job done and get the hell out of there. And I'm Ravs, and today I'm going to be playing Lyron Sham, or that's Big Sham to you, pal, who is a rough, rough and tumble cargo management, you know, just heavy boxes need lifting, and all these weak little scrawny plebs can't lift them up. Uh, but they're, they're sweet, I love them. So <laughs> You look after the little ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I look after the little ones with my <laughs> big muscles. Uh, and um, I am Tom, and today I'm going to be playing your mother. Oh. Oh. No, not the ship AI. Is the name of the person that runs this game today. Ooh. And as mother, I'm very proud of you all. Oh, thanks, oh. mommy. Mama. You do know best. But I do know best. <laughs> Tidy your room. <laughs> so, during Alien the Role Playing Game, each of the characters is going to have a secret agenda. And these will progress throughout the game as we move through the acts. And they will help to govern what the players are doing. Interesting. Cham's Agenda Act 1. Do your duty and help your fellow crewmates as best as you can. Davis's Agenda Act 1. God, these cargo runs are fucking boring. Take any chance to break the monotony. Right, okay, I just gotta... I just gotta be a wild card. Just, well... <laughs> just any time there's a chance to do something exciting. You don't want to be bored. No boringness. Miller's Agenda Act 1. Follow company protocol. Get the job done and cash in. Don't do anything to risk your paycheck. Maybe the next run pays better. Wilson's Agenda Act 1. Before the cargo run to Sutter's World, <laughs> you received Special Order 966 from Wayland yutani headquarters. The Montero will be redirected to investigate the US CSS Cronus. A science ship missing for 73 years. Make sure the Montero crew investigates the Cronus, but be careful. Don't do anything to raise suspicions. Be helpful and make the crew trust you. <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> so, um, jumping in, what's the story? Uh, you are all space truckers on the star freighter, the U.S. CSS Montero, running the gauntlet. Uh, it's the trade route between Anchor Point Station and the Frontier. Your ship's cargo hold is packed with a dozen tanks of dangerous tritium gas that is in the process of decaying into extremely profitable helium-3. Usually, cargoes such as these are towed in massive tanker modules that transport much higher concentrations of gas a safe distance from the freight hauler. 
Montero isn't rated as a commercial towing vessel, however. And this small run is a special order for Wayland yutani corporate accounts on Sutter's World, a newly established frontier colony. While the trip so far has been fairly routine, the Montero sensors developed a glitch before you left Anchor Point and sporadically pinged contact with a sensor deflection before you activated the displacement drive and went FDL. Your cargo run so far has been without incident. Now you're just awaking from hypersleep, ready to deliver your goods to the colony on Sutter's World. Like, I don't, I don't know why we've scheduled so long to play this, because super, super routine mission. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Get in, get out, make some money. Absolutely. I'll absolutely get out of cargo chill. there. Mm. Uh, so can I begin by, I want each of you to make a stamina roll. Ooh. Oh boy, oh. straight up. And so the way this game works is uh, everyone will have uh, their core player stats and skills, and they'll be rolling a group of d6, and if they roll a single six, then it counts as a success. Hey, I'm, my character's not very strong or stamina at all. I only rolled two dice, but I did pass. Ooh, Lucky. very good. Two for me as well. Three to three. Nothing. Uh, okay. So it's uh, my strength plus the number of dice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven. Ooh. Oh, okay. I got less of those boxes. <laughs> uh, I got one six. Nice. I've got four strength. Uh, but if you have nothing in the stamina skill, then you just roll your four strength. Um, okay, four dice. Uh, I got one success. Okay. Mm. So you are all emerging from cryo sleep. Mm. Uh, sort of rough bits of frost are breaking away from uh, these illuminated pods and you are groggily coming to um, the hardy spacefaring truckers amongst you. You're not feeling too bad. You're you've had hyper hyper sleep sickness before. You can kind of shrug this off. Whereas your <laughs> oh. embedded corporate agent, um, you have just an absolute splitting headache. You are. Th I'm, I'm not sure how many jumps you've done in the past, but you're very few. Feeling absolutely terrible about this. Uh, just really, really gross. Um, and the rest of you can all see that your uh, poor uh, corpo agent Wilson is, God, looking really bad. Um, yeah. Maybe you've even thrown up down your front. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have control over that. Yeah. Set the tone. <laughs> uh, which of you is the character that you would think um, is least likes cats? Wilson. Well, Wilson's got to be Wilson. Yeah, you definitely you like cats. You've got no soul. Uh, so as you have uh, stepped out of your uh, your cryopod, mm -hmm. um, a, a a ginger cat also leaps out of it. Um, it's the ship's cat that's been on this ship for as long as any of you guys can remember, uh, called Jenkins. Oh, oh Jenkins. Jenkins! No matter how much you protest, Jenkins is obsessed with you and uh there's not no, a separate oh, come on <laughs> get this thing away from me i feel so unwell <laughs> poor, poor jenkins oh, um, first time in the pods yes oh, got a not... splitting headache has anyone got any medicine it's not that bad wilson i'll give you a little pat on the shoulder i'm like rubbing my temples maybe some caffeine or coffee <laughs> why do we get woken up from cryo i'll give him a little sh shoulder massage oh thank oh. you Thank you very much, Cham. Got such strong, calloused hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's all those boxes. It's all those boxes. <laughs> I hate my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love it. You, it's not too. We're not too far in if you really want to change no, no. it. But I think mm -hmm. it's. I, I think hate it's it, great. but for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely jokes. He is um, not the coolest dude in the world. Is he? <laughs> no, it's not. Not at all. No. <laughs> Uh, so I think we are going to hard cut to um, all of you have kind of managed to get yourself washed up um, and uh, get yourself dressed. And uh, one of the first things that you want to do coming out of uh, hypersleep is you are just now all in the galley of the USCSS Montero. Mm. And you're eating this delicious meal of freeze-dried food, um, there's some, you know, cereal, uh, you know, what equates as meatloaf that um, has been stored for 
very long-term uh, travel. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you are hanging out. Uh, you've left FTL, and you're having some food. So mm. uh, I have to eat this same meal again. I'm going to have to kill myself. Just close your eyes. Imagine it's something delicious from home. What's your favorite food again, <laughs> Davis? Ah, oh, just oh, anything. Something spicy. It's so bland. My God. What are you all talking about? This porridge is brilliant. <laughs> I quite happen to like the meatloaf. <laughs> quite delightful. Honestly, I think compared to other corporations, Waylon Yutani's actually got it pretty good. <laughs> Wilson, you don't have to love everything they do just because you hate it. From <laughs> I hate it. It's awful. You can say it sucks. It sucks. By the way, uh, I know you all love Jenkins, and Jenkins loves you guys. But can we please maybe keep him contained to certain areas of the ship? I feel like it could be distracting for like serious moments where we have to push important buttons or calm relays, that sort of thing. I don't mm. want him cutting off communication. I could I'd always use some company down in cargo. Well, <laughs> as long as there's no contamination, <laughs> I'll have to do a recce. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome to come take a look. As you are saying this, uh, Jenkins um, it jumps from one counter to another and knocks a piece of machinery off, a sort of like handheld device that clatters to the ground and uh, it sounds a little bit like it broke. <laughs> and oh. it Come on, look. But He's just a baby. He didn't mean it. Jenkins, get down from there. <laughs> Who's a hey, good man. boy? Who's a good boy? The cat's no, been on the ship longer boy. than we have. It's basically his ship. I'm well, the commander. I say that he stays. Look, I'm going to have to report this incident now. Who wants to take the fall for this one? I'll do it. I don't care. All right. Miller, <laughs> once again, another report. Uh, oh, yeah, so you is. note down the... It's not going to look good in your books, is all I'm saying. Wilson, you're such a fucking kiss-ass. Would you like some meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, note down that the cat seems to have knocked over and broken um, a sort of standard issue motion tracker. Right. Mm. Uh, it doesn't look too badly damaged, but the screen is sort of cracked. Um, maybe with a bit of uh, like a bit of repair work or something, you could get this thing um, up and running again. Mm -hmm. um, but Jenkins is now stood uh, on the, the, the a preparation table, licking his ass where we make our food. Licking his ass, <laughs> uh, sat right Full next leg. to sat next to the meatloaf. Uh, yeah, his big cat balls just dangling around, <laughs> um, and sitting, in, sitting in the porridge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, at that moment, you do pull cat hair out of, out of your mouth. Oh, um, what are you like, Jenkins? Uh, it just gives you a, a little. A little meow and just goes back to licking its bomb hole. Well, no, maybe now it's licking the meatloaf. <laughs> oh, Great, it's having a. Having I'm a... done with my meal. <laughs> Where's Rye? Has anyone seen Rye? Oh, hey, uh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, um, the fifth member of your crew, um, the sort of uh, technician and um, sort of it's someone who helps out Cham. Uh, they're sort of a bit of a dog's body on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, they're the youngest member by far. They're sort of like a mousy looking, uh, fairly, uh, fairly small person. And mm -hmm. they they come in and wearing their like big, big heavy overalls that are way too large for them. Oh, uh, oh, you saved, oh, you saved some meatloaf for me. And they go and start hacking off. Oh, um, don't eat that. Oh, off never a, mind. A slice they're already <laughs> chowing down. And right. I, I don't want to interrupt your lunch, but um, there's been a bit of a. A calamity of sorts. Jenkins knocked over a motion tracker. Oh, Jenkins, really... he starts robbing Jenkins. Well, no empathy for that thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to have to report your captain once again, so I feel like it'd be in everyone's best interest if you could maybe take a look at it and see if you can patch it up, and then I won't have to report home with it. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, we'll could you get on with that now? Oh, uh... <laughs> I guess uh, Ryan kind of looks over. That would be great. Um, talks over to you, Miller. Like there's the um, the captain. It's it's for you, Miller. I'm doing this for you. Just just do what he says. Just do it. Oh, uh, right right away, and kind of um, goes off to like a sort of side um, 
cubby mm. area. They've got like a little tool belt on them and get out some tools. And they uh, begin kind of like taking it apart. And, um, you know, Jenkins is there sort of helping. Mm. And <laughs> helping yeah. as much as they can. Pushing things off. I get bored of my food and start looking for like mustard or Tabasco sauce or something. I feel like you probably would have your own secret stash of hot sauce. Oh, I'd nice. happily let you um, uh, nice. cover it. What's the hot sauce called? Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, I love that. Um, I'm I'm gonna have to do a classic Lydia mystery quest maneuver. And I'm suddenly from somewhere else because I actually don't think I can do that accent for a very long time. And now I'm a posh woman. <laughs> the hibernation posh. sickness has worn off. Yeah. I've got back to my natural else. accent. I'm still Vanessa Miller, but suddenly I don't talk like that anymore. What's your, what's your new accent? I think I'm just going to have to be quite strict. I'm quite posh and talk like this, but quite hardy. Firm. Firm, to the point. Oh, yeah, great. Yes. Mm. Serious. But sexy. <laughs> Serious, but sexy. Uh, wow. Okay. As a side effect of being in, um, you know, cryo, uh, something had happened to your, uh, you know, your uh, vocal cords, but now they've thawed out properly. And you are now speaking in the voice that you will be using for the rest of the game. Much better. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all of a sudden, um, mother. The ship's computer mm. uh, chimes over the intercom and says, I'm sorry to disturb you all, but I have sensed a ship is approaching us. What? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Is that in the schedule? Are we supposed to have rendezvous? Davis, will you check the mm. monitor? See, see what it's saying, please. Mm, interesting. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, so anyone who wants to use a um, a computer, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be using your Comtech ability. Comtech. Um, so some people might be better at Comtech than others. Not I. It is under average. Your four. Wits. I got a four. I got a four. Yeah, I'm I'm interested. I want to know what's going on. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, okay, right. You uh, you go to uh, one of the um, the control panels um, in. Uh, it's like a fairly cramped cockpit. Um, you can only there's a pilot seat and there is another terminal that can be used for um, all kinds of other um, you know tracking tracking of stuff. And so it's a bit of a squeeze to get all of you in there. And uh, you can hundred percent like look at this and there's nothing out there. Mm. You, okay. Nothing. What's up, mother? I don't see anything. Nothing has been pulled up at all. Uh, give me another Comtech roll. We had a glitch before we left port. I wonder if it's related. Nothing. There is nothing out there. Hmm. Nothing at all. You were supposed to come out of hyperspace at Sutter's World. Mother chimes in again and says, uh, Captain. Yes, Mother. Would I be able to have a moment of your time, please? Absolutely, yes. Um, I'll go into the airlock. Uh, so, um, uh -oh, on... someone's in trouble! <laughs> <laughs> so on Shut each up. of uh, these ships, they are outfitted with um, a mother, which is a computer system. And you have a, a mother 6500, which is a slightly, um, slightly older model. Mm. Just how I like them. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> uh, you have a key card, which means, um, or you know, you have a code, which means you are the only person who is able to get into and talk directly with Mother. Um, so it is a very advanced computer, which effectively is mimicking an AI. Um, it is not fully um, mm. intelligent yeah. or sentient. Yeah. But you are trained in using Mother, and mm -hmm. you are able to kind of communicate with it. Okay. Like and Ask Jeeves. Yeah, a bit yeah. like Ask Jeeves. Perfect. Very, <laughs> very current. Love that. And so you go down mm -hmm. um, this sort of side corridor, and uh, you enter the code into a keypad, and enter into this sort of uh, white padded room. Um, this like sort of static free area, and uh, you are able to able to talk to talk to your mother directly. Um, mother, 
I need you to do something about Wilson. Please, just abs- just just get him off the ship. Open up an airlock when he's nearby and suck him out into oblivion, please. I wish I could help you with that, Captain, oh. but I fear I would not be for the best of the of the ship. I do feel for you. Uh, could we get you a cup of coffee or something? Yes, please, make it a double. Very good, Captain. I must inform you that we have picked up a distress signal. What kind of distress? A distress signal from an unknown ship. What do you mean unknown? Unfortunately, the signal is too garbled for me to be able to make out uh, what it is. I don't understand. Davis couldn't see anything. He checked twice. There was nothing there. I believe we were having sensor glitches before we left Anchor Point Station. Can you look into that? What caused the sensor glitch, please, Mother? The Montero sensors had developed a glitch before we left Anchor Point Station. They were unable to be fixed due to the hurry that we had to proceed on this mission. Uh, Mother, is it possible to get this fixed ASAP? Could you start work on that? I can give you advice, Mm. but that is something that you will have to handle yourself. Right, right, yeah, okay then. Company rules do dictate that uh, we must try to help in event of a distress signal. Uh, Anyone refusing to help will be forfeiting their shares on this adventure. But, fine, yes, okay, I understand what you were saying. I'd rather just get this mission over and done with if I'm completely honest, Mother. But I would also like to make some money, so sure. Um, I think we should divert course and head over there and see what's going on. It might just be some kind of error. This has happened before. It's probably a mistake, Ping. We'll check it out. We'll head on back on our way to get this thing done. Very good. Thank you for your time, Captain. Thank you as always, Mother. Uh, cool. So yeah. you can go and tell um, tell these guys uh, what are you, the rest of you up to? Right, everyone, mm. gather around. I've just spoken to Mother. There's a distress signal going on. We've got to go check it out. As Heavens. it is, yes, as it's company. And we all know p- company policy, company don't we? Policy, yes, <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. <laughs> right, we're exactly. all on board with this one. Yes, yeah, we're sounds all exciting. On board, we something exciting. different. Um, but I think it's probably just a mistake. There's some sort of glitching errors going on with the ship. Anyway, this old hunk of junk is in desperate need of a remodeling. Let's just go see what's going on and then carry on back and get this mission over and done with, please. Well. I wouldn't say hunk of junk. The Mother 6300 is actually quite a formidable and uh, reliable operating system. Uh, Wilson, you know for a fact that we're losing thousands of dollars every day because we're in desperate need of an upgrade. I really don't want to hear your mumbo jumbo corporate bullshit right now, thank you. I haven't had my coffee. Uh, Understood, Captain. (laughs) Understood. But how about we do the right thing here and Mm. go to that distress signal, hey? Mm. This would be a nice bonding experience, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Davis, uh, full speed ahead, my darling. Uh, Captain. Well, while we're talking about it, is there going to be extra shares if we help Mm. out this distress ship? I'll remind you all that we're here for work. Salvage? Maybe salvage? Well, the company will pay out, surely. It's part of the the protocol, right? We find someone, there's a a bounty, uh, help. Well, <laughs> company policy dictates that we must respond to distress signals. It doesn't mean that there is a cash load on there that suddenly has a fortuitous amount of money that we suddenly earn on top of our current mission. It, it merely means that if we don't respond to this distress signal, um, we won't get our share of this job. It must be really hard for you to say that, Davis, considering... Uh, sorry. No, it must I've got be, it written down. <laughs> it must be really hard for you to say that, Wilson, considering you earn... What, five times more than we do? Oh, <laughs> we don't discuss salary. No. Company policy. No, company policy. <laughs> very, very true. <laughs> Absolutely. God, I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, there is a potentially a world where you can get a finder's fee um, or uh, a salvage, um, depending on who would... Either the people who own the ship mm. um, would, uh, if it's abandoned, they would pay you to have it returned, um, or if it's then uh, used by the company, uh, mm. there could be a paycheck. Mm. Uh, so, can I get? Um, is someone else 
uh, jumping onto sensors. Um, Mother has got a vague direction of this ping, um, and uh, if uh, I'm not Davis gonna is double gonna check, I'm just gonna go it. straight for where Mother says. Okay, can you give me a piloting roll? Please? Oh yeah, watch this it's on the dark. Whoa! Boom! Boss. You got one. I got one. Okay, yeah, this is this is perfect. Um, Actually, can I um can I push it? Can I? There's a mechanic where I can like re-roll my test if I don't like it, right? So in this game, every single person is allowed to push their dice roll. Mm. Um, if they push their dice roll, they immediately gain some stress, mm. and uh, they are allowed to re-roll their dice because uh, if you roll a six, you will automatically succeed. Mm -hmm. If you have any more sixes rolled, then uh, you can have a a better success. Mm -hmm. And so you 100% can um, Ooh, push it. Okay, so I'm going to keep the one success that I got. I'm going to reroll everything gained. else and get one stress point. And watch this. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, I got one extra oh. success and one bad one. Uh, ben has rolled a stress dice. Uh, stress is very important in the alien role-playing game because uh, you are going to be in high-tension environments mm. and things are going to be... Uh, getting pretty pretty wild. Um, the more stress you build up, the more likely your character is to panic mm -hmm. and lose their mind. Uh, for every point of stress you have, you'll be rolling one extra dice. Um, these dice can be really good because if you roll a six on it, mm -hmm. that means more successes. But if you roll a one on that dice, oh. uh, which is represented by a little face hugger, <laughs> which is a weird, <laughs> weird I'm choice. I'm sure it's just like a spider or something, right? Oh, it must yeah. be a spider. <laughs> <laughs> must be a spider. Then it means that your character has panicked. Mm. So, uh, God, ben, okay. You, you... This early on, you're trying it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just like slammed the back engines into reverse, overdrive the front engines to perform like a high G flip, and I've fucked it maybe. Ooh, can you roll me a D, a D6 to see yeah, how the yeah, yeah. goes. I rolled a five plus my one stress. Okay. It's a six. So that means you keep it together. But uh, the way we're going to do this, um, so you've got one success, so you've successfully gone in the direction that you're I hoping for. I got two for. success. Um, the second success mm -hmm. can be spent in a bunch of different ways. Um, and I believe for piloting, one of them is that you can show off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're trying to do. You were just trying to show off. Well, I did. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> I did. So as you are doing this cool maneuver, you're doing this cool... <laughs> Hold on to your butts, guys. Yeah. Woo. Davis, no. Davis. The Davis maneuver. Yeah. Um, all of a sudden, red flashing lights start going off in the ship. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And a uh, mother uh, cuts in. Sensors detecting impact imminent. Oh my god. And Davis! A, fine, fine! A click, patch click, 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 click. of black space in front of you. You didn't really notice it. You're in the middle of nowhere. Um, you just can see specks of stars mm. uh, all around you. And you did not fully pick up on the fact that this little bit of black space was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, mother is chiming in again. Impact imminent. Impact <laughs> imminent. It's fine. And it's fine. I got it. Davis, I got it. do something. Oh, well, well, Davis, you idiot. What is that? I need a, another pilot roll, but this time at minus two. Oh, no. You're going to kill us all right at the beginning, then. <laughs> I meant Davis. <laughs> Trust me. It'll be just like that time we escaped the ambush at Tanhusser's Gate. Woo. One success. Okay. I would like to push it. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> yeah, you can. You are, can. You are pushing you it. Have another yellow dice, please. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! He's a wild pilot. Two. Okay. Thank god. Uh, you have <laughs> successfully avoided colliding with this ship. With style. Are you choosing to spend your extra success <laughs> to show off? Is this why you're pushing it? <laughs> yeah. Just to show off? Yeah. One success doesn't count as a success for me. You need in my head. Heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to skim the edge of it and flip round to like get the lamps and the, the get it right in front of the viewport. Oh my you can God. really see what it is. Like almost scraping it as I like skim by. Oh, you, you come within sort of like a meter or two of it. And you are flying quite a large ship. 
Uh, this is also quite a fast ship, and um, you have a uh, hull full of explosive <laughs> gas <laughs> barrels. <laughs> <laughs> um, Davis is not degraded fully to helium three. Yeah, this is not explosive. I so, didn't tell you what the cargo was, right? <laughs> uh, so you scrape nearby, but you perfectly line up. Uh, with the headlamps um, of the Montero mm. pointing at the side of the ship where there are no external lights on. Mm. And uh, you come up right next to the huge, kind of multiple meter high uh, painting on the side, which just says the USCSS Cronus. Mm. Cronus? Cronus, mother, what's the Cronus ship? The USCSS Cronus is the Magellan class science vessel. Science vessel? What's a science vessel doing out here? Is this one of yours, Wilson? <laughs> the Cronus is part of the fleet, yes. What's it doing out here, Wilson? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Well, can you not radio in and ask one of your your people back there? Do we have comms right now, Captain? Good question. I don't think we have <laughs> communication. At this yeah, you, you are... Um, to be able to communicate back and forward is a bit like sending a fax right. that takes months. Oh. You've been uh, flying at FDL, probably you and Cryo for about four months, I think mm. is about how we do it. And so uh, it is- yeah. We're on our own out here, yeah. guys. Unlikely that you can get that. Uh, can I ask Mother a question, Captain? Uh, yes, go for it, whatever. Mother, is, is you a UCSCT, so let me be? <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Cronus in the database? Uh, yeah, I think um, you would, if you can give me a comtech role, if someone can do a bit of like looking into this, I, I don't will. Comteching. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I've got a four. Mm. Comtech. Two successes. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Right with Double. that. Um. So a success will give you information. I will also say I will give you a lot more information. Uh, the USCSS uh, Cronus is a ship. It went missing 73 years ago. Um, it has been gone for a while. And uh, maybe you, were, you knew a better way to be able to find this out because you were looking through the corporate files or stuff that um, this was an important vessel. Mm. Um, going out on uh, some kind of some kind of mission, mm. and that it was a bit of like there was a bit of a fuss back in the day, and the news. Uh, yeah, but maybe it wouldn't have been super public. But you know, for the corpos, you in the Wayland. Yeah, mm. but it was quite a big deal, and um, that uh, the ship's probably worth quite a lot of money. Is I. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm assuming Mother reads this out. Mm. I, or I let Mother read this out. Cool, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, Mother does uh, read out that the US CSS Cronus is a missing science vessel. Um, it has been missing for 73 years. It appears to be running at minimal power. It is on its reserve of battery power. I must inform you that as Wayland Utani orders dictate. Listen to this bit, it's very important. That <laughs> you got it. Salvage must be attempted. Number one, recover scientific data and samples from the USCSS Cronus. Two, escort the salvage Cronus to Anchorhead or another Wayland Utani facility. Three, Save crew members on the Cronus. Mm -hmm. It's been 76 years. I can't imagine anyone's still on there. Whoa. They could have put themselves into cryo, though. True. And I think my mother power. told me about this. It was a big deal when it went missing. Huge story. deal, yes. I can't believe seeing it in the flesh. Whoa. I think we just hit the jackpot, guys. And you almost literally hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude, I'm going to pull out my rosary. I was in pray full control. Before. The I'm whole time. Like a full you, koi ground. <laughs> you managed to hold on to your breakfast this time. Barely, actually. There's a bit of sick on the floor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hold it together. <laughs> this could be an absolute 
gold mine chaps. Mm. This is worth it. This is the big one. We're going to come away from this very rich if we do this right. If we get this back to, to HQ, good heavens, we're all going to be very rich. Well, that's the thing. Mostly though. me. Are we, is it going to be evenly divided between us or the company to keep it? I will assure you, I will have your back so you get at least a third of what I get. <laughs> oh, Davis. That actually sounds like that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> <laughs> we're a team in this, don't forget. On this ship, we're all even. Not a team. On paper, sure. We're not at all. I'm several. Several hierarchies above you all. <laughs> mm. But that's all bureaucracy. Right. Right now, what's important is that ship and what's on it. Right. Well, so Davis, can I have hmm? a word with you quickly, please? Sure. Oh. Do you want me to join in? No, absolutely not. Thank Fair you. Enough. Could you just Cam, could you clean up family, the seat? But a family. <laughs> family. Uh, the um the 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 kid, uh, Rye, is like, hey, uh, c- uh, Captain, can I can I have a word with you as well? Absolutely right, my darling. Oh, How are you? If, uh, well, if I... I think if I'm thinking what you guys are thinking... Yeah. They want to come and join you all. go to a yeah, different uh, room? Let's uh, head off to the lounge and have a word in there. I just wanted to discuss the next bit of the mission with the piloting. I'm thinking about doing a different technique. It's all very boring. You guys stay here. Mm. Mm. I do love boring. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. What's the um, the closest adjacent room <laughs> to the lounge? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can. I'm gonna be in a um, corridor next to it. <laughs> <laughs> you 100% can. Do you want to? If you want to try and sneak and have a little listen. Chan, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Secret safe with me, pal. We're yeah. family. We're fam- okay. like a family. Well, can you fix this bit of wall? <laughs> with this glass. <laughs> can you um, roll me a mobility roll? Uh, so mobility could either mean you're running away, um, mm. you're doing acrobatics, or you're sneaking. I got a six for this, and I don't know why. <laughs> you're so uh, sneaky I'm really and sneaky. acrobatic. <laughs> Oh, I got three successes. Oh my god! Oh, my god. Wow. Um, and I'm on, I'm climbing on the walls. <laughs> the we don't see that you're like above us on the scene. Wow! Oh, oh my god! Just uh, Mission Impossible. <laughs> 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 um, but you, this could still fail. Um, mm. Can uh, the captain mm-hmm. um, Miller? Can you roll an observation roll? <laughs> okay, observation. It's wits. Uh, two, and then I have two, so four. So if you can roll more successes. Uh, I got one success. Unfortunately. Ouch. Uh, so this was an opposed roll where you guys are rolling against each other, and basically mm. whoever rolls rolls the best is the best. Um, so uh, you can easily be up against the door or <laughs> idling nearby and... Jenkins has got its ear up at the, the door as well. Oh, <laughs> Jenkins. It's Dan there. Cap. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn furball. Mm. So, Captain, you're a, we're thinking about a, a paycheck, right? Absolutely, we're thinking about a paycheck. Now, remember to keep this under your hats, but you know what my plan is. I need to get out of this company before I lose my fucking mind. Mm. I can't do that without currency. So I need to take some of this cash underneath Wilson's eyes. He can't know. Do you understand? I like the captain. I, I I completely agree. I look. I've I've got my own problems. And, and I so I need I need money. You know how I was asking about potentially getting an advance on the next job. Absolutely. Um, I'd give it to you if I could. But you know that pencil pusher is just an absolute nightmare. Oh, he's okay. Like luckily he's miles away. He can't hear any of what we're saying. I Thank I God. Don't, I don't like that guy either. <laughs> no, he's he's think... also. Incredibly ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just hear a gentle sobbing. Um, What's that? Do you hear that? But, <laughs> but like, if we can, if we can get salvage, like a, yeah. a science festival, mm. that sounds like there's got to be, there's got to yeah. be money here. That'll be top money. Of course, we still need to get this mission done and get mm-hmm. paid and, and not get in any trouble. Mm. But it's important that we also get our own money. Mm. The company's going to take it all. And that absolute ugly man yeah. out there is going to get most of it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably pull some top secret nonsense, say it's all classified, not let us have anything, exactly. pretend it never happened. Exactly. Right? Well, if we if we can get proof that we were on there, mm. or, uh, 
we we will be able to use this later. Surely we can we can go to the the press. Yeah. Yes. We can. Yes. Uh, they've got to. They've got to give us mm. money. Yeah. They will, but just need keep evidence. It. Find some evidence. Evidence and keep it quiet. Don't tell. I think. Uh, I think Cham's okay. He seems like a very nice guy. But whatever you do, do not trust Wilson. You understand mm. me? Oh, I'm. I'm, I'm, like he's, I'm sure he's okay. We've. Listen to me, Rai. <laughs> do not trust him. He cannot be trusted. Look, sometimes you can trust ugly people, okay? No, you can't. <laughs> They're not as good as you and I. <laughs> well, now suddenly your character like beautiful. <laughs> you can't trust the ugly ones. <laughs> right, we've got to go back before they get suspicious. Uh, in the meantime, what is Cham up to? Uh, he's probably still praying by the viewport, holding his rosary. And he'll probably say, Mother, what's the chance that the crew are still in cryo? Although the USCSS Cronus is running on minimal power, that does mean the cryo could still be enabled. Um, it is impossible for me to be able to tell from here. Okay. And I'd just silently pray. I'm not trying to listen in on anything. Just sitting with my little beads, looking out at the ship, okay. observing it. Are they under any sort of like camel or anything was it because we barely saw the ship was it like no it's just no. purely that there were no lights yeah, on and this you. is just a just got a you. big dark object in okay. space mm -hmm. and yeah uh, well uh, yeah yeah i'm just back in the room waiting for everyone to come back just silently praying uh so the montero is equipped with an umbilical this is a a sort of like long sort of gangway type thing uh, with this sort of like plastic sheeting that you can travel through. Uh, although it's sealed, um, it is tradition to kind of uh, wear a, a spacesuit going through this mm -hmm. because um, if something was to go wrong, you are now in the vacuum of space. Mm. Um, there is no gravity um, inside the umbilical and that is how you would traverse across. Um, in turn, in the hull of the Montero, you do have a a lander, which you would use to um, go uh, to and from planets because the Montero mm. uh, is not atmosphere designed. Mm. And this lander is called the Daisy that you would um, be able to uh, fly up and down to mm -hmm. planets. And so you do have this um, like other a shuttle. Yeah, a sort of like a yeah, like a shuttle. It's not designed for long range travel mm. whatsoever. I'm going to say because of um, how good your piloting role was and you're showing off. Um, that you were able to completely match the speed mm. um, of the Cronus and that you are not going to have to roll again to be able to uh, line your ships up together. Mm. You've matched this kind of like, uh, it's flying at 0.4 of the speed of light mm. and it appears to have been doing that for mm. quite a long time. So we're just both on the same course and heading. Exactly. So relatively speaking, we're, we're not moving. Yeah, even so... We are. It feels like yeah, you are just completely static next to um, next to this uh, this ship, and uh, mm. yeah, just with your the viewport just looking directly at the big the big words, USCSS Cronus. Mm. Okay, um, let's take out the Daisy. Uh, yeah, I've used that in ages. Sham, will you make sure you're ready to potentially uh, haul over some rather heavy cargo? I, 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 I foresee that this is going to be quite a, a busy ship. The Cronus is going to have a lot of stuff we'd like to take with us. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you should you. all know that apparently Cryo might still be functioning on their ship, so there's a chance some of the crew could still be alive. Well, fingers mm. crossed, eh? We'd lovely to uh, see some new faces around here. These oh, ones are getting a bit lovely. stale, yeah. Yes, I hope I see some friends of mine. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you had any friends, Wilson. Well, you've got you guys. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, then. Davis, be a dear. Get the daisy ready. Uh, so the daisy is not equipped to dock with ships. Has it got its own, like, landing bay? The ship had a landing bay, but at the moment, mm. um, it does not seem like mm. any anything is open or uh, anything is happening there mm. at all and so would unless you were just to pull off alongside it and mm. uh, no jump, better situation than we're already jump in. into an <laughs> airlock um but i'm still gonna push for the daisy i like to fly it i want to try fly because it's it's smaller and nippier okay but you guys feel free to override my yeah, character's I whims I, I <laughs> 
go on his daisy could, could uh, umbilical it's easier to carry the boxes uh, yeah that's it D- davis i admire your spunk and oh. love of adventure but we really need to think about getting the cargo back over here ah oh, it's so quick though i know but the daisy, in and out daisy's too you're a, you're one of my best friends davis <laughs> but you just know that daisy's too tiny for that we've got to get the cord going so we can all walk across oh, maybe we prep it just in case you feel free feel free to prep it but i think we should use the cord Okay, thank you. All right, Captain, I'm going to prep the daisy. You guys do play with your cords. So to hook up the umbilical, uh, I will need a heavy machinery roll. That feels like a job for Sounds like a jam thing. (laughs) (laughs) Just stand up, stretch stretch my arms. Okay. So this is kind of like you going um, to the sort of like central part of the ship and the umbilical descends directly from uh, your ship. And this is sort of just lining it up and clamping it on um, right next to uh, this uh, symbol of the USCSS Cronus. Um, there is there is an L mm. and that you can attach. Yep, that's an eight for me. So time to roll. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. you know your kit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is one <laughs> success. Can I push it? Uh, you can. So you don't have to push it, and unless you're gunning for a specific. A specific bonus? Just for a later related role, maybe. Okay, maybe, sure. Maybe nice to... Yeah. We should grab, grab, to, grab a uh, yellow. Oh, yeah. But you can show off. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just everyone's showing off all the time. Uh, that's Ooh. two oh. successes. Yeah. So you can do it quickly, half the time. You can break it permanently. Ooh, that's a fun <laughs> choice. That'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> we'll, make, we'll make this next bit way more, way more wild. No, I'll, I'll, I'll opt for the make a later roll easier. Okay. Yeah, if that's if that's all good. Sure, hundred percent. Um, yeah, you have clang uh, connected, mm-hmm. uh, connected the umbilical. Mm-hmm. Um, the two ships are um, attached to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, you begin to um, slowly fill the umbilical with an atmosphere mm-hmm. um, and so even though there's no gravity within the umbilical it is um, breathable in there um, we, and... we should definitely still wear our suits though yeah I'd say we should get suited and booted mm. yes and, and try not to touch the sides of the umbilical what if we tear it mm. <laughs> <laughs> awful no sharp objects <laughs> no sharp objects uh, so the um, Montero is equipped with uh, five IRC Mark 50 uh, compression suits, um, which are, mm. uh, they've been around for a while, but they are pretty standard, um, standard fare. Um, it has an air supply, it has a HUD, it has a comms mm. unit, um, and video feed that can, you can transmit your footage to other people, um, or it can be transmitted mm. to a static um, terminal, something like that. And, uh, you also have a freshly repaired um, M314 motion tracker. Hey, Rai repaired hey, it. Hey, good job, Rai. Uh, Rai uh, has uh, uh, put it back in the exact same spot that mm. um, Jenkins had knocked it off. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, there is a cutting torch um, that is used for uh, all kinds of... Mm. If the door's jammed or something. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, sounds like, like jam work. The sounds like jam jobs. <laughs> Down in um, the sort of cargo hold. Uh, also, the uh, Watatsumi bolt gun, which is basically just a big rivet gun. Mm, um, wow. That um, can be used. Um, I think the captain, you will own a M4A3 service pistol. Oh. Um, I think you probably keep that in your bunk, um, yep. whether or not the rest of the crew know about it. Okay. Um, there is also a subspace harpoon gun um, down in the storage bay as well, which mm-hmm. fires a uh, harpoon with a tether. Mm-hmm. Um, and there is a incinerator unit, the M240, um, which is used for getting, getting rid of ice, getting rid of stuff, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, but effectively it is a, a flamethrower. Mm-hmm. Um, it is up to you guys on if you want to uh, be using this stuff if you mm. think you need to take it with you how you see this I'm, I'm my character's not going to worry about it what could go wrong this will be fine I'm Boom. not taking um, anything if the doors are maybe shut in low power mode I might need the bow torch 
Mm. Yeah, that, that, makes sense. That, yeah. that does make sense. I'm gonna put my M4 service pistol like tucked into my boot. I don't tell you guys I have it. It's just mm. hidden out of way. Hooray! There you go. Yay! Yay! Yay. Okay, so yeah, uh, there are um, five of these compression suits. Mm -hmm. Which and one looks the best? <laughs> uh, they're, they're all, you know, fairly just standard issue. They all look like they're in good order. <laughs> well, I guess you take the the weediest one, the they're thinnest, the same smallest one. uniform size. Oh, really? Oh, my yes. bad, my mistake. But I appreciate you trying to make me look trim. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, trim. <laughs> right, everyone get dressed and let's head across. Uh, like, as people are sort of getting ready, um, getting their stuff together, Rai comes to you and is like, uh, C Captain, do, do we all want to go over? Does, should someone take care of the ship? Um, uh, oh, I'm not staying behind. No. I want to see it. Maybe Wilson should stay behind. Wilson, you can keep an eye on the ship. I don't think combat Oof. and scary things are really your type of bag, are they, Wilson? Phenomenal idea, Captain, as yeah. always. Uh, however... It is company policy that I do have to uh, attend the scavenge if there is something there that I need to report, of course. Right, of uh, course. You know, make sure you're all... Not that I, I would suspect any of you of pocketing anything, you know, out of company. Uh, so you, um, uh, you do have the option that you can... Um, anyone who stays behind can watch every single person's cameras um, and hear everything. Mm. But uh, stuff can be tracked from here. And Rai's like, uh, would, well, you, would you rather me stay? Well, maybe Rai could stay behind her yeah. younger and, you know, we could have them communicate over radio. Yes, right, that's a fabulous Rye in the sky. idea. Rai in the sky, exactly, <laughs> I like that one. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah I'll, I'll be Rai in the sky. Make sure um, you're on comms, just keep us updated if anything happens and we can sweep right back to you. Should we do a radio you? test? Over. Yeah. Hello, it's me, Why? I'm. Uh, this is what I sound like when I'm talking on the radio. Thank you. Uh, all of you guys have these um, kind of slightly bulky um, spacesuits on, headlamps, uh, good to go. Right. Uh, you've got the uh, blowtorch and the, the plasma cutter um, with you. Trigger discipline, of especially course. through the umbilical. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'm going to... Are we going through the um, umbilical now? Uh, you're kind of like all stood around the airlock that will be oh leading boy. down into the umbilical. As soon as we, as soon as the door opens, I'm gonna like push off and jump into it and do do like our like Davis. A flip. No, because <laughs> okay. it's it, uh, zero grav. But how often do you get to go into zero gravity? That's uh, amazing. I want a mobility roll. Woo! Oh my God, you just fly off into. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone forever. He always does this. He always does this. Watch this. Wee! <laughs> One. Oh, you did succeed. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna push it. Oh my God. Yellow dice, You're gonna like, break your neck <laughs> in zero gravity. This is a lot of stress, Ben. Still just the one. Wow. Oh. That was all the fours, though. Lots of fours. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, Woo! You successfully kind of launch yourself down. Um, mm -hmm through the uh this umbilical which is sort of um maybe like 15 15 meters or so 20 meters and uh sort of clang into the the airlock the <laughs> airlock that is on the chromes and uh yeah you've successfully successfully made it in record time in record <laughs> time so all of you will have to make a mobility roll to see um how how well you can make it down there. Okay. Um, as... um, do you always roll with the stress dice here? Yes. Okay. From while well, you have stress, that stress dice is always involved. I do not succeed. <laughs> one success. <laughs> A single success. Uh, I have one success. Okay. <laughs> I might push it. <laughs> uh, do you, you feel can. a little I'm bit queasy? <laughs> you can. I'll just push it. Have your first stress dice. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to mess up in the umbilical. <laughs> okay, two successes. Nice. Okay. Thank God. Great. So, um, both uh, Cham and Miller, you uh, push down, um, not nearly as fast or as wild as Davis did, but you successfully make it over there. Mm -hmm. Describe what you're doing, Wilson. Like you, because you've got a bonus success. I'm uh, nervous. Can I take a moment to watch Davis do it completely wrong, but <laughs> everyone else does it 
to uh, the T, uh, to the letter, as the guidebook suggests. And I'm like, okay, I just got to do it like them. And I take a moment, I make sure the door behind me is nice and sealed so that we're not mm. going to be adrift in space. Before the Montero set off from Anchor Point Station, Corporate Liaison Officer Wilson, played by Chris, received Special Order 966. Special Order 966. Two, US CSS Montero, Agent Wilson John J, that's me. Direct crew to repair and return US CSS Cronus. Use of force authorized. Remove Montero from equation. Transfer crew to Cronus. Return all xenomorphic materials. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. Awaiting acknowledgement. Acting on these orders, Chris passed me a note under the table, reading, I sabotaged the Montero airlock, so we can't get back in. Now, back to the adventure. So I make sure that's all pressed in nicely, and then I do a little jump forward, and, uh, embryo. <laughs> <laughs> Full embryo, make sure I'm not touching the sides. <laughs> Straight line. Catch me! <laughs> I'll catch him. Okay, I yeah, I, th I think, boom, with that, yeah, you take your time. Um, boom, you uh, goof around with the, the panel and get that. Like, you've done this completely text By the book. Every single aspect. Um, <laughs> a line. Like the diagrams in the brain brace, brace, brace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like Deep just, breath. <laughs> um, and it takes ten times as long as each of you guys who have done this. Hold on, I, I did step three wrong. I'll start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck in. <It's> slowly <laughs> moving across. I'll just it's like that scene in 2001 though. Space yeah. Odyssey. You yeah. know, like the 10 minute. Yeah. 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 We're all just like. I'm, going, I'm, I'm, spe I'm speeding up. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who has the highest observation roll here? Wait, five. Um, five. Although I've got three extra stress, three. so eight. Uh, would you like to roll? Yes, I love I rolling dice. You were there first. Um, yeah, roll me, uh, roll me an observation roll. Uh, only one. I'm gonna push it. Oh my god! Oh god. He's trying to die. He wants to. How much the man stress have you got now? Wants to die. Uh, ooh, ooh, there oh, we go. Oh. It's four successes, one failure. Holy oh. moly. That is insane. <laughs> what do you do with that? <laughs> okay, well, make me a... So, as you have rolled a one, mm -hmm. can you roll me a panic roll? Okay, I'm adding four to it. Mm. And four stress. So, I've got a five. Ah, you're keeping it's it best. Keeping you it could have rolled. <laughs> yeah. <You're> so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Luck has nothing to do with it. No, it's all it skill. How, how badly do I ace this, Tom? Four successes. I'm the best. Okay, right. Because <laughs> everyone has taken time to get there, and you are bored, mm -hmm. you're already kind of goofing around a bit with this door, <laughs> and um, the, the control panel is not working. But more importantly, this door is broken, mm. um, and you can see that it is buckled. It's almost buckled from the the inside out uh where there's a bit of a, a bit of a crack in it mm. and uh there are sort of rents in the door that with that success you'd be like this did a bear do this <laughs> like this looks like an animal has been attacking this door wow and 100 percent you know this airlock does not work properly um you if you can get this door open um the umbilical is now going to work as the airlock mm. um and so it's going to it will make traversal back and forward a uh, significantly riskier oh hey cham you want to take a look at this it's mangled crack my knuckles okay i'll have a look um what can i assess anything or am i thinking i'm gonna have to cut through this tom is there some sort of role you want me to make i think it, it, you, cutting it would definitely makes sense um yeah. you might be able to um pull it open but this is an airlock door um it would be very very hard work um whereas uh boom you've got you've got your listen um, I, I eat my porridge but i don't want to tear my suit so i'm thinking if you give me like five minutes i can cut us through 
Yeah, it's perfect. Sham, oh, yes, go Five for minutes, it. jeez. No problem. Uh, yeah, well, roll me, um, roll me a heavy machinery roll to see how well... Um, Everyone ready to die when I cut them double the <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, uh, that is one success, and I'm not going to push it any further than that. <laughs> cool. Sensible. Um, <laughs> sensible. Yeah. 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 Sensible. Boring. Boring. <laughs> so, yeah, your plasma cutter, um, it, you, you spark up the, uh, you know, this glowing, glowing blue uh, flame, and it doesn't take you too long to be able to cut this cut this open into a way that these doors can be sort of like shunted shunted open mm -hmm. um, it's not the cleanest job and uh, yeah like there are like ragged like gashes in in this thing it looks like something inside had had ripped up ripped up this um, quite heavily what the Is hell this... were they doing on this ship <laughs> is it something that you know decompression could do to a door. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. And I've been working this job for 25 years. Mm. It's a science vessel. We're not sure what their cargo could have been. Well, what they're researching. This could mm. be something dangerous. I'm not exactly sure that we should be carrying on with this. I'm a little worried too. What's mm. protocol here, Wilson? Protocol dictates, like, like yeah. Mother says, we have to We've got to check it out, don't we? And the rules. <laughs> we don't make the rules. I hate to agree with Davis, but he's right. Has everyone got a weapon? I've, I've got this bow torch. I hate to be on the other end of it. Might be worth popping back, getting some weapons, mm. and coming back again. How long know. it took me to get over there? <laughs> you, you stay here. I don't think you should go. Sham, could you go pop back, grab, grab us a bunch of weapons, and come back just in case? Aye, aye, Captain. What kind? Uh, get the harpoon, the incinerator unit, uh, the bolt gun. That should do it. No problem, Captain. Thank you. I can see the harpoon. Launch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to launch back over there? Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, you did like good. How good was your mobility roll when you got down? Only the it? one. It's Great. Very I, want, I want a mobility back again. Sweet. Five. <laughs> uh, also, I think as a little bonus for you, mm -hmm. um, you seeing all those big like rips and tears. Mm. I think that kind of scared you a little bit. I would, <laughs> say, you have a, I would say you can have an extra stress dice. Yeah. It's a bit freaky, isn't it? So you can just what could do that? Is You're just like, what? How many stress are you on? Five. Oh, oh my god. god. Whee! Oh, oh, oh gosh, no successes, one failure. And I can't push it if I rolled a failure? No. Oh my god. Okay. okay, great. Can you uh, make me a panic roll, please? Oh, okay. Hey, how much do you like Rye as a character? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Um, it's a six plus five makes 11. 11? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I did not think someone was going to be a six stress at this stage. He's a maverick. Oh, my God. Okay, um, you seek cover. Mm. Um, you must use your next action to move away from danger, find the <laughs> as safe a spot as possible. Okay. Uh, you are allowed to make a retreat roll. Um, mm. I love how the game okay. thinks you're in some horrible combat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just you showing off going yeah. in between the things. Well, I think I've been freaked out by the by the weird claw mark like destruction, mm. and I'm now become obsessed with like finding this finding a weapon right. to protect myself. So I'm going to go. I'm going to think that the safe space is where we keep all the kit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think in your um, haste to do this, um, you can also take a point of damage because you launch yourself with such velocity that you right. are collided with the other airlock. Um, <laughs> okay. And um, roll me... I have only two hit points. Ooh, bad for you then. <laughs> Breaks his neck. <laughs> uh, and can you just roll me a, a single one of those stress dice? Mm -hmm. um, and... Oh, five. Absolutely fine. Absolutely okay. Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm spooked. Yeah, you are kind of freaking out right now. <sighs> Gonna get to that harpoon before anything comes along. I'm Miller. kind of freaking out him slamming into that airlock. <laughs> <laughs> Miller Wilson, you want me to, like, make him take a breather? He's a, a bit excited. Uh, yeah, yes, please. Just okay. uh, calm down, will you, Sham? Okay, wait. I mean, he's, he's got good reason to be worried, though, right? I'm sure it's fine. He's it's, usually so confident. It's fine. I'm going to put a big, meaty hand on your shoulder. You're going to be all right, Wilson. Thank you, Sham. <laughs> that really does help. 
Look, it's probably, um, I'm trying to think, yeah, something with the air pressure or, oh God, maybe they, they had a cat. They had a Jenkins mm. and Jen it, the cat went crazy, got <laughs> rabies. I don't know. <laughs> I cat? look at the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's like huge. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, it probably just hit some space debris. It's been floating for 73 right. years. Right. Straight to, yeah, that exactly. Yeah, that's a bit it. of space debris. Iceberg. Space a, a, a space an, iceberg. A space <laughs> iceberg. Just like, yes, mm. exactly. Yeah. Don't panic. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just these guns are just Tell that in to case. Davis. I will. I'll calm them down. Good. Davis is at you're at the other airlock door. And you are You're trying to open it and you can't. And, Try harder and, and faster then. I want you to make me a comtech roll. <laughs> That's um, pretty good though for you, right? Wits. Mm, oh no. Three. Green. Don't worry, I've got five stress dice to add to it, so... <laughs> He's going to break his neck on me. <laughs> I need you to make a contact roll. Open! 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 Oh, open! Oh, open! Oh, no. Bad. No good. Bad. No good. <laughs> Too okay. bad. Right. In... Uh, so that's another panic roll. <laughs> you are just a terrible, terrible member of the what crew. Is like, what is going on? I thought I was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, woo! Okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's a six Wait, plus that's five. The panic, that's that's the that's same again, at 11. Single, okay. Flee. So from where the rest of you are, you have seen... Um, Davis has freaked out, and they launched themselves and they've collided with this door. <laughs> Can and I... they start pressing the buttons to try and open the airlock. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem to instantly open and Can... until they start punching the control oh panel. Oh my God! Can... With their Can I attempt an empathy command roll? Uh, you 100% can. But you are seeing him punching this Oh my god. Thing over and over again. If and that opens, we get depressurized. Can I pull rank? Can I pull yeah. rank? Uh, so you cannot command someone who's panicking. Oh. Oh. You can try and empathy them. Yeah. But <laughs> you are just shouting at Stop me. Stop it, Davis! I was just like, it's going to be okay. <laughs> You're going to be all right. Space debris. <laughs> but this, the, this. Let me out! <laughs> So you went out trying to show off to all of us <laughs> having the greatest time just doing insane. pirouettes and then you're just suddenly freaking out that you're going to die. Like, you are a danger. Head, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this control <laughs> panel is 100% smashed. He's oh my God. damaged the door. Oh, Lord. Um, and I'm going to say, you have also... Um, like completely like ripped your your glove open to <laughs> oh, pieces fuck. because you had those uh those two um they were really bad uh, i think we're just going to interpret that as like you are absolutely losing your mind you have well, no that control just makes me feel worse if anything <laughs> yeah. oh my god um i don't know if you're going to be paying attention to that at the no, moment okay um, if i calm them down yeah empathy uh i'm i'm going to say from uh, where you are um, I'm going to give you a minus one to this because you're trying to just do this over. One less day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we're still. We're, oh, you're we're back on the with other us side. as well. Yeah, okay. the uh, three of you are still. Nada. Yeah. Um, Davis is. You can just see them just punching oh. over and over again. Davis, calm down. I, I get the. You're going to get hurt. The. The... I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, all of you are on comms yeah. um, at all time. Okay. Um, uh, Rai, Rai. Rai comes in. Yeah, Rai. What's going on out there? Rai, I need you to pay attention. Please go over to the the doorway and open it from the other side right now. Uh, okay, Captain, I'm, I'm there. Um, they're they're pressing buttons. Look, Captain, it won't open. Uh, I, I mean, it, ask it's... mother. Ask mother what, what's happening right now. This is an emergency. Mother. How, 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 how can we open this? Um, mother is no assistance here. Mother can give advice. You got to be careful. I see what you're doing over there, <laughs> but if, if we don't follow the normal procedure of depressurizing and repressurizing the airlock, if we just jam it open, this whole umbilical is going to get flooded. Right. Or it's going to get sucked out. We're all going to die. You are creating big problems with this. I think we have to go. <laughs> That's why you're on the big bucks. I didn't no, anchor I'm that. It, Jam, you're doing a great job, but maybe we should focus on getting in here. Okay, look, Davis, Davis, calm uh, the fuck down, don't, Davis. Oh, 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 it won't open. Davis. It won't open. Davis, we've been working together for 10 years. I've never seen you act this way before. Come back right now. <laughs> calm the fuck 
lockdown, I have a gun in <laughs> my shoe. Are you pulling your gun out? And I'm <laughs> pointing it at you. Get uh, back, Davis. <laughs> I I will. I think have um uh try and, try and calm do the calm down roll. Okay. Okay. Is that like empathy? I don't think I will be pointing my gun at you because you're my okay. bestie. I think I'm just saying like I've got a weapon. We can use that. Come back right now. Okay. Yeah. Give me the um, uh, the empathy. The empathy is. Oh, I think I'm quite empathetic. Uh, I'm five. Oh, cool! Wow. Empathy God, you're really is five. Empathetic. One, two, three. Maybe I should. Well, you're quite, the captain. I, oh, at least be nicer. <laughs> I'm being, yeah. quite, being quite cold with everyone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you have a minus one because you're doing this from sort from of like 15, 15 meters away or whatever okay. I said before with the umbilical. All right. Uh, no passes, no successes. Um, would you like to push it? Yeah. To gain some stress? Are you going to pull your gun out? <laughs> little Ooh. bits of stress are good. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I, yeah, you know what? You are literally about to kill us all. <laughs> so I think I will Fair. pull my gun out. Okay. Because I'm just like fucking, like, we are all about to die. Six. Oh, two. Two, two, two. two. Play it out. You, uh, you, mm -hmm. This works. Davis, <laughs> I am. Davis, look at me, Davis. What? Open the door. I. I don't want to shoot you, Davis, but you are about to kill us all. Now, I love you lots, but I'm not dying today, okay? Sorry. Just calm down. Take Sorry. a deep breath. Now, I, walk. I just need my meds. Can I take my meds? You can take whatever you need, but you need to come back here right now. Okay. Don't worry. It... Whilst we are on this ship, Rai mm. will be able to fix the door. Everything's going to be fine. Now, come back. Okay, yeah. Rai can fix stuff. He can fix anything. Can I? Is it safe? Do I know that it's safe to take my helmet off? Uh, yeah, yeah, not like regulation, but I won't oh, die. It, this is completely against regulation. Oh, but um, no, this is there is atmosphere in here. Okay, I'm going to take my helmet off. Oh, cool. no. Resist the urge to say something <laughs> right now, <laughs> mate. Freak Unique out. circumstance. I just like take some deep breaths, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to um, I'm going to go in my pockets and take uh, take a pill out, mm -hmm. and um, and take take some pills. Uh, how many pills do you have? Uh, nearly empty bottle. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I thought you need more. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's your last My pill. My last oh, pill? Oh gosh. no. Uh, yeah, that's the last pill um, with shaking hands. I've been saving it. Push my location when I really need it. Oh, pull God. it out. Um, Davis, and... this is a research vessel, science <laughs> vessel. They might have pills on here. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. We need some more pills. Calm you down. I'm sure they've got a lot of things that are very important to us, so just come back now, Davis. <sighs> okay. We love you lots, darling. Can get back. I, can I lose some stress for taking uh, my pills? Yeah, so you will lose one point of stress. One? Okay. There you um, go. And uh, that... Uh, you take that and you kind of come to... Mm. And this control panel to the airlock is like absolutely caved in um smash two pieces um you can see Rai through the other airlock door through the mm. portholes they're just shrugging the they don't know what's going on mm. um there is like flecks of blood floating around um your hand is really really badly damaged mm -hmm. um the you can see uh you know blood and skin through the knuckles of the uh, the glove from where you were like just pounding on this this panel so hard. Sorry guys, I kind of lost it there. Let's I'm get, okay now. I'm okay now. Let's get you safe inside um, the uh, Cronus, and maybe we can patch you up. We'll have to try and see if we can find weapons aboard there because there's no chance we're getting back here until Rai fixes it up. I yes. can I can give you a little bit of metal clade once we're inside, Davis. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay, that'd, be good. that'd be good. Okay, Cap okay. Captain, I'll, I'll just keep trying to do stuff with the doors, but I think I I've got no idea what he's done. Work with Mother. Put all the energy and f and resources and force into sorting out the door. I have total faith in you, Rai. You're a genius. Thank you, uh, Captain. Thank you. Uh, do you know? Would, it, would you not rather me kind of keep track with you guys? Like, cause I, like, won't be able to look at the cams or anything uh... if. Just radio in when the door's working. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. All right, over and out. Remember the protocol, right? Um, uh, yeah, okay. If you need to know, if you just go into my bunker. I've got all the guidebooks. If you need them. Oh, okay, I love those. Feel <laughs> um, free to check in. He, you could just catch him just being like, <laughs> as he like walks off. Um, and so 
Uh, you are now kind of all stood um, where you have uh, cut this um, cut this door open. These like ragged um, uh, ragged area uh, around it that you are. There is the other airlock um, that is actually on the on the Kronos that you can uh, open that door, mm -hmm. um, and this whole um, area becomes the the airlock. Uh, but you will mm -hmm. want to... The whole of the umbilical will turn into an airlock. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll want to seal that again to prevent, um, you know, explosive decompression if something was to happen within the... Just have the one door, basically. Instead yeah. Of the two door. Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. is... Uh, would be very, very risky to leave an inside door open. Just the umbilical isn't designed for, mm -hmm. you know, hardware wear and use. Uh, would you like to proceed... Mm. Yes. Go in. I think we should carry on. So you crack open the door. Um, there is still some semblance of power. Um, a lot of the doors on the Cronus will be operated via just a button and they will slide open. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be enough power on board that that is working. And as you do this, uh, there is a hiss as they slide open and you can now see kind of into the Cronus itself. Um, as this flood of kind of warm air kind of flows in from the uh, the umbilical, your uh, you know, freshly made airlock area, uh, it kind of, you can see ice particles sort of getting blown around and uh, wisping about the place. Can I get a stamina roll from... Uh, you, Davis. Because oh. I'm not wearing my helmet. <laughs> um, right. God. Did you not put it back on? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> well, I've, my seat's already breached through the glove. That's true, yeah. Um. Uh, oh, two. Two successes. Cool. Um, okay. It is cold here. Mm. Um, not uh, crazy cold, um, mm -hmm. but you would guess it's in the minus degrees that um, maybe some degree of uh, life support has kept this thing from uh, completely uh, like losing all heat, mm -hmm. but it is definitely sub-zero. Okay. You would imagine if if you don't find some kind of heat in mm -hmm. the next like five or six hours, it will become a problem for you. Okay. Um, but it's, it's chilly. It's not life-threatening at all. Okay. Um, if you don't do anything about it mm -hmm. for a long, long time, time. Um, okay. it, you'll be... So I got an extra success. I can spend that on plus one to a later roll, or I can impress someone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... You know how like, when it's really cold and you blow out like yeah. mist? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, fog yeah. and breath? I'm going to like... I'm gonna go. Oh, it's cold in here, and I'll blow like a smoke ring out of like frosted breath. Yeah. Pretend you're smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, oh, that's cool as fuck. This, <laughs> is, <it> out. <laughs> this is perfect. Like, yeah, you you like take this big deep breath in and like exhale and make cool smoke rings. You even <laughs> blow a little model of the the Montero that flies <laughs> through the smoke ring. It's so cool. <laughs> wow, no, nice. oh, wow. you do that? Yeah. <laughs> what was that pill you took? Uh, and all of you are <laughs> impressed. <Wow. laughs> Very good, Davis. Love Very it. good. Well Thank you. Done. How did you get the Montero like that? <laughs> God, it was so accurate. Uh, but yeah, like um, you can see, uh, like it is really dark in here. Outside of the dimmest of dim emergency lights, which are sort of dotted around um, the sort of corners of the floor, um, it is basically pitch black. Um, any further than the sort of illumination of your torches. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, and you can kind of see like this uh, this smoke ring that um, Davis has blown sort of just slowly disappear down into the darkness, leaving these ripples of this like stale, stale stagnant air, um, mm. moving these like sort of dust particles and uh, ice crystals, um, which are sort of slowly beginning to melt as the heat is sort of warming in from, uh, from your umbilical. Mm. And How big is this ship compared to our one? Uh, it is about. Um, it's not as big. The uh, your ship is bigger, definitely. Um, yours is a, a, a cargo hauler. Um, probably you're about twice the size of it. Oh, wow! And um, wondering um, if 
No, I don't know. I'm not too tech-savvy. I'm a little bit. But I wonder if we could provide power to this place from ours. Well, mm. we'd have to be able to get back into ours first to even do something like that, wouldn't we? Well, rise on that right now, so I suppose we could look around until that's a possibility. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm still working on that. Oh, uh, Captain, um, uh, I'm, I'm doing, doing my best. Would this place have maybe some backup power of some kind? I'm it's sure possible. it's on low power mode right now, but... Hmm? Well, it's been missing for 76 years. I imagine any kind of backup power has been drained to keep well, it going for this long. Maybe maybe they knew they were going into long-term stasis and just turned the reactor off. Maybe, maybe it didn't run out. Maybe it was just put, put on standby. But this ship went missing. This wasn't hmm. a planned thing. This was meant to come back to base, but it, it just disappeared. Hmm. Just something went wrong here. Uh, Mother chimes in and says, My sensitive reports are that... The USCSS Kronos is running on backup battery mm. that appear to be almost depleted. Maybe investigation into the, mm. uh, the 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 deck or the engines would mm. give you further answers. Really worth checking the engines. Yes, yeah, yes. right. I agree. It's worth a look. This stage, uh, Mother also says, I have successfully um, downloaded the schematics for the USCSS Cronus, and I will patch them through to you now. Mm. And immediately, all of you in a sort of heads up display within your um, helmets. Um, mm. Davis, you might can just see that it is in the helmet. Um, uh, it shows you the full schematics or the entirety of the USCSS Cronus. Cool. Um, would you like to flip my piece of paper I'd love to. over? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Nice. And so uh, you receive these schematics mm -hmm. and then you, with anticipation, excitement, uh, you begin your adventures into the USCSS Cronus as you slowly proceed into the dark. Wish we'd brought weapons. <laughs> and that concludes this episode of Alien and the scenario, Chariot of the Gods. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying a bit of spooky sci-fi. Uh, Alien, one of my favorite franchises, and so getting to play the RPG is uh, something I've wanted to do for a long time. So I hope you guys are getting on board as, uh, as much as we are. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.